This is Dr. Dan Purser of danpursermd.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about CoQ10 because it's a confusing, complicated topic for most patients. Let me simplify it. You want to take it for hypothyroidism if you're taking thyroid medication, or you want to take it if you're taking a statin, or if you have any cardiovascular risk factors, you should be loading up on CoQ10. Also, for older people, they have fatigue. It's a great option. And the fifth, op- fifth time you'd want to take it is if you had a spectra cell, intracellular comprehensive micronutrient panel result that showed a low CoQ10 level. And the kind you want to take is ubiquinol. You want to take about 200 to 500 milligrams a day. If you have a low spectra cell result, I do 500 milligrams a day for a while. The forms of CoQ10 I like best that are out there, I like MedQuest CoQ10, which is the original ubiquinol out of Japan or the CoQ10 out of Japan that all the studies were based on, so it's really good. If you can't get your hands on MedQuest CoQ10, try Qnol, which you can get at Walmart or off of Amazon. Regardless, take your CoQ10, I'd take at least two a day. This is Dr. Dan Purser. Thank you very much for watching. God bless and go in good health. For those of you who have medical questions or comments, don't leave them on YouTube. It's not allowed. You can't, I can't answer medical questions there because of HIPAA violations. So subscribe to my one of my emails and contact us through that through my website, danpursermd.com, and we'll try and answer it or we'll try and set up a phone call so I can answer it. Thank you very much.